when you come to the end of your life, what do you want it to mean? What do you want people to say about you? How do you want your life to matter? And the song is about well done. You know, if you're a believer, you live a life of, of service and wanting to see God and hear him say well done, that you did good with what you had. That's what I was about barbecuing. No, it wasn't nothing about barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know, I like to flip it up so it's a little traditional in the beginning and then it gets a little hip-hop and urban in the end and then it gets kind of choiry, so I'm just kind of stretching my... Uh, Sound like a gumbo. It is. Or a stew. You got all kind of stuff going yeah, in there. Yeah, absolutely. That's what I like to do with music. That's what I like to do. Change it up a little bit. Um, how different is it when you've, you've, been, you've, you've, you've been a duo for so long yeah, yeah. and then you're doing your own thing? I mean, that, that's, that's a different... Uh, it's a different speed. It's a, it's a whole different dynamic. Yes, it's a definitely a different speed. Um, taught me a lot about myself. Made me depend on me and not blame Tina. Well, this happened because you know, well, it's two different people. It's just it's all me, and, I, and I'm running the show, and I got a great team helping me do it. Um, but even with that, when I stand out on the stage, it requires a different kind of energy, a different kind of focus, um, and finding out who I am and I have, and I, I'm loving it. I, I like Erica a lot these days, uh, just because I own who I am: the good, the bad, the ugly. Um, I never try. To be more also, all the work on you. Yeah. So you can't kind of like, baby, you go ahead and sing a little bit. Right. You, you go ahead. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm going to chill over here. You go ahead and carry us tonight. No, that, that don't work. It's different when you've been singing with somebody and now it's all on you. So now it's all on me, um, but I feel good. I, I feel good carrying the load and being creative and you're not asking, no, what you think? No, what we wearing? Where we going? You know, we taking this flight. We taking this gig and not. Are we going to this church? You know, it's just me. So it's a different, it's a different dynamic and, I, and I'm enjoying it. I think everybody needs to be an individual at some point in time, even if you work within a group, because that's how you find out your strength and your value. Right. If you always kind of feel devalued, not that I did in the group at all, but it's you know, it's always just the girls or, you know, the Marys. Like, it wasn't Erica and Tina. Almost like our identities got a little muddled um, in being the group. And I think this allows us to be individuals. And I think that's going to be amazing when we actually do come to back together, which we are. We're just taking a moment. Gotcha. It happens. But you also got a day job. I do. I do. I'm a radio host. Okay, but yeah, but the problem now is now, now you got now you got to work five days a week. I do. You got to actually be there at a certain time. That, that, that's a different world. Well, I mean, because I'm syndicated, I broadcast from wherever I am. If I have a concert in New York, I broadcast in New York. If I'm in D.C., so it allows me to move around. So it still kind of fits the mold of what my life is, and uh, I like it. I like inspiring people in the morning. I love my team. My co-host Griff is crazy. Um, so we get to kind of poke at serious stuff. Some of the stuff that you talk about on your show, mm -hmm. um, but just from my my perspective from a believer's perspective and our responsibility to not just go to church but make a difference in the world and take that God information and get out and go change things. Radio is I think probably the most liberating medium yeah. uh, because one you have to paint a picture yes because it's audio mm -hmm. uh, and you have to tell a story differently as television is visual mm -hmm. print you can write it but radio I just think is a lot just different. Yeah, you have to kind of really give people the before and what you're trying to say so they understand it because if they're not following whatever story you're talking about, then they don't get it. They're kind of lost. Um, but I allow people to call in a lot, so, you know, they're very uh, vocal. I love our listeners. And, uh, sometimes they're happy, and they sometimes extra. they're not. They and extra. They extra. Yes, yes. We have a few callers that I call my top ten friends, and they call in all the time. Mm -hmm. They talk on everything, and, you know, I, I really... You be like, like, go to work! <laughs> all right, aren't you going to be late? It's really, really cool. All right, what's next? Uh, let's see. Um, my song, Well Done, I have a big performance, a big concert in Brooklyn on August the 7th with a bunch of my gospel friends to celebrate my one-year anniversary of the radio show. Uh, finishing up season six of Mary Mary, I'm still a first lady. I have three kids and a husband, so there's a lot going on. Oh, yeah, you got a full play. Yeah. You got a full play. My sister's also coming out with music. I know this is strange, but we're coming out with music actually on the same day. She, her song is called Too Hard Not To, and my song is called Well Done. Our team playing not, that? No, and our teams were so unhappy about it. They were not happy. Y'all ever heard talk to each other? We do. We do, but our what? teams were orchestrating, and they were like, oh, this is your date. And I'm saying, hey, Tina, when's yours coming out? 28th. When's my 20th? Oh, shoot. Really? So we're trying to figure it out. So she's going to be on my show on Friday, and we're going to talk about her single. Oh, oh, oh. So y'all got singles come out the same day. Yeah. But they ain't coming out as Mary Mary. Nope. They're coming out as Eric and Tina. <laughs> hey, man, And what, nobody life. talking to each other? We, no. I mean, we got two separate teams. We're doing two separate teams. I got teams. you. But y'all might want to tell y'all teams, hey, <laughs> can y'all email each other? And I asked them to move the dates, and they wouldn't because her wheels were in motion, my wheels were in motion. But listen, it's a million people coming out on that day. 
What is it? What's the difference? But Amelia and ain't related to each other <laughs> who are in a duo true? called Mary Mary. Yeah, I don't think BB and CC puts out music on the same day. No, you know, but it's, it's 85 whining. <laughs> They ain't never put out music on the same day out of all them whining. Listen. Even the ex-wife whining. You are crazy. But listen, Roland, <laughs> all the people in the world, somebody gonna enjoy Tina's song, somebody will enjoy my song. Or maybe they'll buy yeah, both. But, but we're trying to maximize the revenue. We are. And the attention. You know what? But I Tell y'all, team. Together. I think it speaks volumes to us really being on the same page right. and not being in competition and not being afraid of people picking. Because they're going to pick. Everybody's going to have their favorite Mary. That's fine. We don't have a problem with that. But y'all, now, now y'all going to be stuck. <laughs> now y'all. You know how many copies I stole last week? Uh, you, you, nah, we're not doing you that. You're going to step your game up. We're not come doing on that. Come on now. You know, come on. Y'all need, need to get y'all teams together and say, look. <laughs> Y'all need to have a mediation for your team. We, we, try to, we try to coordinate the teams. It's just very, very challenging. Yeah. Because her and Teddy are doing things. They have this, this web series, 10 Minutes with Teddy and Tina. So they're doing that. And then I have the radio show. And we try to coordinate. We really do. Like, we, um, we went to Nairobi. And we went to, <laughs> I hate your face right now. And we went to London. And trying to coordinate those schedules was just, it's crazy. Yeah, there are, thing called, there are things called email. There are things called text messaging. <laughs> it's a thing called group me. There are numerous communication devices and apps that allow you to be able to communicate with one another but you, to listen, be on the Roland, same, on but one accord. But our business worlds are two different things. They really are. I got you. And I don't, the I mean, you know, same day. Hey, man. Now y'all gonna be trying to schedule uh, uh, interviews. <laughs> uh, hey, we got Mary Mary book. No, 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 actually we got Erica book. But hold up, Tina just called. <laughs> no, but hold up, I got Tina, but where Erica? I thought she got but a song you know coming what? out. She, but she, she is a whole different, her whole <laughs> forgiveness movement is something different than what I'm talking about. Yeah, y'all trying to forgive y'all teams because they ain't talking to each other. You are crazy. <laughs> well, good luck. We're well done. Back with our panel, Liz Copeland, Greg Carr, Tiffany Cross. Real quick, uh, Dr. Carr, you were talking. Erica Campbell, such a huge star right now. Who's one of the gospel stars from your childhood? If it ain't James Cleveland, brother, or Albertina Walker, if it ain't Sister Rosetta Tharp, brother, I mean, I, I kind of stopped with uh, Andre Crouch and Sandra Crouch. I mean, everything since then, I kind of tolerate, but the golden age of gospel is well past us, brother, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, no shade. I, I, love, I love what they're doing, but uh, yeah, I grew up in the church, brother. Liz, They're my people. Liz, you like to hit shackles on my feet? Yeah, that was yeah. a great song. I remember listening to it, and I was like, yes, it's a club banger. I'm like, wait, this is gospel? What, is, <laughs> what are we talking about right now? I'm like, get the shackles off my feet. <laughs> Tiffany, yeah. you also saw the worlds of gospel and yes. secular kind of blending a little bit. But I, I would say coming up, I was more of a Shirley Caesar person. We didn't yes. have, like, these mega churches. Yeah. Like, we knew everybody in the yeah. church. It was a church house. Yeah. It wasn't like, you know, the ministry of 8,000 people on, on this or that. So it's interesting, though, because I know that you have strong opinions about it, Dr. Carr, but it's interesting about the evolution of the church and the gospel music right. because you do have to take the message to the people. Right. And how do you do that when people have, you know, consistently trended towards more mainstream music? Well, this well, sure, they, they can't beat Hold My Mule. When they went and they beat Hold My Mule. You can't beat it, but in African tradition, we sure did make a modern version of it with beans, greens, tomatoes, <laughs> tomatoes. Lord, you have mercy. Weekdays on TV One. I will never lie to you. Oh my God. Roland Martin. He doesn't want to talk to us. He wants to ignore us. Uncensored. Hell no. no. That ain't no cut it, boo. Unapologetic. No, no, that, that is fundamentally false. You are wrong. Unfiltered. He wants an America where we all look alike. He ain't talking about black people. Unrelenting. You better go work out, because you got to fight on your hands. News One Now with Roland Martin. Weekdays at 7 a.m. on TV One.